Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode of Mass Effect Andromeda. We are... Hopefully... Is there sound? Yep, there is sound. Good. Um, hopefully, we should have mods installed. Here's hoping. There should be a couple of options for uh, Rider's casual appearance, so we're going to go straight in there. But we have a new ship. It's called the Tempest, and it's not the Normandy, but in some ways it's better than the Normandy. And we have a Citadel, and we... Yeah, there's a lot of stuff going on. Um, this is going to be the first chance we get, I think. Is there customizable outfits? You know, I don't think it's actually downloaded. <laughs> well, that's annoying. Okay, we're going to have to work on this next time. But for now... Uh, we will... We'll go the leather jacket. We're going to have to sort the hell out of these colours, though. Uh, right. Go for a more subtle... Like, was it Star-Lord purple-esque? Okay, it's still bad. But it's not as bad. And that's fine. Well, I will work on these mods later on. As uh, I have basically no idea what I'm doing with most of them. But we should. Facial reconstruction. Uh, we should be able to go around and uh, chat to everyone. Uh, I did actually fool around with the settings. See, if, Just to make sure that I have actually got... The right settings on. Ultra, that'll do. Make sure it's nice and pretty. Although it's still very dark. Right. Where are my people? It is very empty around here. Where empty is it? Armory. Okay. Um, where's the armory? <laughs> is this an armory? Or was that the sofa? <laughs> Pathfinder, help me with something? I know, not exactly standard. Gotta make the space comfortable. Plus, the fabric diffuses the charge from an overclocked Omni blade. Not giving up a 6% boost, right? I don't know what that just meant, but uh, where did you find the couch? <laughs> That's more important. Someone brought this to Andromeda? The cat couch. It was new when we left. It's been a hard year. So... Finally time for that beer? Oh, that's true. And Is this... after two years and a dozen suspensions, I took a lateral promotion out of the force. Being a cop just didn't fit. But crisis response? Digging people out of trouble? That worked. I bet Hustle followed you into a few piece actions. Think about your alliance days much? Actually, that, that couch is not looking too bad for 600 years old. Um, What was Hustle? Is that like the cop thing? Tell me about your group. Heavy urban search terrain one. Yeah. Earth's contribution to a multi-species disaster response unit. HUST-1, but Hustle looks much better on the patch. <laughs> All civilians, retired vets, or shits like me. I was fiercely bearded. Tastes better just thinking about those days. Yeah, I do miss all that, but... Don't think about that time. No, it's not, not good to dismiss it all. We're bringing that culture to this world. I do miss it all. I wanted adventure and mystery at the edge of known space. There was so much to see. Seems like a long time ago. 600 years, give or take. So, Pathfinder. Why Andromeda? That blunt, huh? That blunt. Ooh, there's a heart company like this. Is that a bit early? I feel like we said two words to him. Nope, we're gonna we're gonna flirt with everyone and get to know a bit more of their personality. So, Liam, I've come here for you. I'm looking for moments like this with people like you. Ah, uh, <laughs> sorry, uh, guys aren't my thing, but good to know I'm universal. Still an answer though. 
Something far from home. I get it. Back at you, Costa. Why'd you come? I want to say I'm running from my past, but really running from myself. That'd be a great story. But it's bullshit. I had family, friends, a good enough job. <laughs> Nothing was wrong. I just heard about the initiative and... I believed in it. I believed in a new beginning. Still do. I have to. It's fair We're enough. We're in it. Just one thing about that. My answer there was not that flirty. It was literally just, uh, you know, I'm, I'm here to spend time with people like you, you know. Young up-and-comers, maybe ex-troublemakers that want to make a new forge, new beginning. It's okay, I've come here to spend uh, time with people like you. Whoa, not gay, dude, but thanks for the interest. <laughs> That's all right, fair enough. <laughs> um, we could change direction. We can't go back, but we're not trapped by decisions, a galaxy behind us. I don't feel trapped. We came from a good place for good reasons. We keep that in mind or steer us right, just like back in Crisis Response. Remember the essentials. A new start guided by the Pathfinder. And team. I'll bust my tail to make that a good story. Okay. So, kind of like a young rookie that wants to make an impact. He wants to make... Kind of wants to be known, but not by his own name, by the actions he did. So that that's cool. I can I'll see that. Someone. Maybe they could use you on comms. So you get to be with the Pathfinder and I have to watch your radio? The radio or help cash with cleanup. Who the fuck's that? Who have you got in here? Oh, hey, Pathfinder. <gasps> the Pathfinder's there? Let me say hi. Fine, but don't embarrass me. Ryder, this is Sid, my sister. Sid, Ryder. <laughs> I'm guessing younger sister by that. Uh... Let me guess. Little sister? Who are you calling little? Look, kiddo. Gotta go. <laughs> Wait, Ryder, I just wanted to know if... So I know it feels like I just jumped aboard your ship without explanation. I would like an explanation, but you don't need to give me one. Like, that is just like, yeah, I, I want to know. No, it beats being on the Nexus. Plus, you seem to be like a... a not not a by-the-book person. You're kind of like a fixer. It's like shit happens, you put a quick fix on it, and we keep going. Not being tied down by bureaucratic red tape. You're like a Garrus. I would have done the same just to get off the Nexus. That's not why I came. Sure, I want to explore the galaxy, but I'm really here to work. I know everyone on the crew, even the actuators Gil prefers for the ship. Better, I know how to get my hands on them. With me around, your crew's going to be at their best. We've been failing for months, Ryder. Now that we have you, we have a chance out here. Okay, so she really is a fixer. I was just going by the, um, the guy telling us to stop, and she's like, oh, for God's sake. Hey, uh, you came here with family, right? Do you want him to die? Uh, oh, oh, hot, hot. And you're good with guns? We definitely need people. That's so full. <laughs> you know, with the romance options in the trilogy, there was an element of subtlety at the beginning. Like you build a trust that slowly culminates, normally in the NPC going towards you and sort of saying, hey, I quite like you. This is just like, hey, it's Mass Effect, so you know what's going to happen. <laughs> You're intense. I like that. Wow, that's some laser focus. Yeah? Was it too much? Some people get intimidated. We need that sort of drive. I just hope I can keep up. You'll keep up. And I promise I won't tell if you don't. I should track down a lead for Gil's actuators. Back channels, you know. We'll chat later? Yeah. Yes, please. Okay, Vetra. Yes, cool. Intense. Like it. Um, right. Um, is there a map? There is a map, isn't there? I'm confused. I'm lost. Okay, that's a Liam. That's a Vetra. We have a Lexi. I'm coming, Marjorie Terrell.
You're not Harry. <laughs> the blue give it away? Yeah, very observant. Habitat Rise 7 was a little more action-packed than Harry bargained for. He decided to spend his retirement years on the Hyperion looking after your sister. Smart move. Wait, wait, wait. Casual. That's casual. We don't want to be casual. She's very by the book. Welcome aboard. Happy to have you, Dr. Tapero. I'll do my best. Now, hold still. Ow! Sorry. I remember you having a gentler touch. Still trying to get my bearings. Thought I'd be waking up colonists, not taking care of the Pathfinder. And it's okay to be rough with colonists? <laughs> like, they still feel pain. Uh, you'll be great. It, for so, she seems like a, an incredibly intelligent person with no social skills. <laughs> so, like, poof, ow, sorry. Um, she's a doctor, so she must be pretty smart. So just, yeah, it's natural to be nervous. You'll be great is just a superlative. It just doesn't really matter that much. Being nervous means you understand what's at stake. That's the problem. I always hoped to work in the field, but everything's happening so quickly. Focus on the positive. It helps. I guess this is my opportunity to study alien mm. species firsthand. Getting a cat specimen aboard the Hyperion would be difficult, but here... Uh, what? A cat corpse. For autopsy, I'm, a live subject would be better, but I'm not greedy. Why do you care about the cat? Harry didn't tell you. I'm a specialist in alien anatomy. My thesis on Krogan virility and aggression is what got me in the initiative. I mean, that's... That's very interesting. Um, but of course we want a cat. Well, what if we find a nice one? We kind of want to know how he works. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean... Kind of makes sense with her being on the ship. Harry's too old. Um, it should be quite easy to get a cat corpse... Like, I killed a lot of them. Like, just let me know. Next time I head out, I'll pick one up and bring it back. You get, get you as many as you want. Ooh. I get to flirt with Natalie Dormer. I had no idea. <clears throat> I'd love to hear more. Over dinner, maybe? Oh. Um. Thing is, Ryder, you're not my type. What's your type? Not a patient. I need to be able to look at you clinically without distractions. Am I distracting? Not nearly as much as you think you are. <laughs> but we were discussing the cat. An autopsy could teach us potential weaknesses, average lifespan. Right. Just something to think about. Sam, make sure the Pathfinder eats his vegetables. Oh, really? I just flirted with stepmom, basically. <laughs> I mean, if you being my medical practitioner is a problem, you're fired. Like, that's cool. I fire you. Now will you go to dinner with me? Ah. Data pad. You've got this. You don't need an old man, a few hundred years your junior, to tell you you're ready for this. I'll do it anyway, because I know it's true. You keep your rider safe, and I'll do the same with mine. <laughs> oh, me and my sister are like Pokemon. The two doctors are just raising a rider each, and then later on we'll battle. Okay, I don't need to reconstruct my face, as far as I'm aware. Uh, this was the kitchen area, wasn't it? Yep. Anyone else down here? That's Sam. Get up. Right. Who else is here? Should be a Cora somewhere. There's a Cora. Oh, Suvi! Suvi! And then right at the back is a gill. Hey, can you drop by the biolab? Yes. Which one of these is the biolab? Not that one? Oh, hang on. Does a door shut mean something like it's a cutscene break? Because everyone's door that's been shut that I've gone in has sparked a little cutscene. Yeah. Nice okay. place you found. It's a nice Cleaner, subtle way of alerting plants. us. Helps me think. The gardener? Something on your mind? <sighs> Maybe. Whoa. Take it easy there. No. <laughs> that was the tiniest little biotic shove of her foot. I... 
Take it easy. I won't take that sort of aggression on the ship. Your biotics always do that when you're, maybe, stressed? I got it. I'm good. Please don't kill I don't us. normally lose it like that. A Huntress should have better control. Huntress? Another term for an Asari commando. I was one, before the initiative. Some things stick, though. Like losing the old man. I've heard of whitewashing, but unless... Are you whiting up? You're actually in Asari? How does a human soldier get to serve with Asari? Prove your biotics can rip an APC apart, and people get nervous. Funny that. The mm. Alliance found me a cross-species military initiative in a hurry. Sent me to Thessia to serve with the Huntress unit. Okay. One of the few places where my powers were welcomed. Your father made another one. Well, it's quite interesting, but I would have thought that... Because I'm, I don't know the lifespan of Turian, but I don't think it's that much more than a human's. So we had Admiral Anderson talking about we got sent to Turian like base training or something, and it's like another level. Um, those with biotics, yeah, obviously get sent to Asari, but they live for so long that their basic training or whatever their huntress training would surely be an entire human lifetime and it would still just be like five years for a uh, for an asari so i can't imagine you were you were probably an intern or something you got their coffees um did you know my dad well you seem pretty close you were a second in command were you friends too he was more a mentor than a friend prickly old bastard but I respected that. People treat geniuses like they're made of cut glass. I didn't care how smart he was. I think he liked someone not caring. Yeah, that's fair enough. As um, when you get treated like a genius, as I obviously know, um, yeah, people just want to talk about that field of, of ingenuity. Sometimes just having someone not give a shit. It's like a celebrity just having somebody, a friend that doesn't treat them like a celebrity. They're just, you know, a person that you've known all your life. Uh, I'm still here. We can talk. I know it's not the same, but I'm a good listener. I hope you're as good at being Pathfinder. All right, all right. I said I wouldn't get in the way, and I meant it. But, but? I prepped for years as your father's second. Then he chooses you, an untrained Pathfinder, and all this mess to fix? What the hell was he thinking? Is this going to be a problem? Yeah, but like... I don't want a rival. Just answers. It, it's done. Best I can do now is be your second. Keep your father's mission alive. Then maybe we'll all get what we came out here for. Hmm. That was a little... A little aggressive. I'm not sure about that. Like there was, uh, like she had plans to become Pathfinder almost, and I've scuppered them. Do I sense a betrayal in the mists? There's only one thing to do with possible enemies, flirt with them, put them off their game. We'll be good to go. You, me, side by side? I like the sound of that. Don't be charming when I'm mad at you. <laughs> Are you? You're not glowing. Blushing, maybe. Look, there's still the mission. A lot of dreams to fulfill. Okay, okay, that seemed that seems to have been uh, vaguely successful. Um, so what did you come over here for? That's true. If you were raised by Asari huntresses, shouldn't you be on Thessia dying? So what brought you out to Andromeda? Biotics like this, thinking like an Asari huntress. I never had a place. Best I could be was a useful freak. The initiative was meant to be different. Will be different if this mission succeeds. So I'm seeing it through. It's quiet in here. I can keep the plants watered while I work. First job, see if there's any news on the Asari Ark. If they made it, we could use some Asari expertise. If you want to talk, I'll be here. Okay. <clears throat> you know, I'm pretty sure the Asari have it covered. Like, obviously, we're going to help. We're going to help uh, the Asari arc out as much as we can. But why is a human being the advocate for it? 
You know there are other people, right? Oh, it's a shut door. Pathfinder making the rounds. Slumming it, huh? Want to see how the riffraff are making out? Oh, okay, I like them already. <laughs> I really do. Um, somebody in the comments said it was uh, Baratheon. Not Stannis, Renly Baratheon. Um, I really liked him as an actor, so I'm very, very happy at that. <laughs> A little Game of Thrones reunion here. Yeah, well, someone has to. Hey, it's a dirty job. Are you the riffraff spokesman? <laughs> King, actually. You might want to bow. Otherwise, things might start falling off the tempest at the most inopportune times. I'll take my chances. Just want to see how things are going with the ship. I can coax more out of this baby than some might think, but we shouldn't go too far or push too hard between Nexus stops. For now. It just feels good to be stretching our wings, you know? Locked in idle too long, you start to drift. People, same as ships. Stuck on the Nexus, gotta say, I was regretting joining the initiative. That's true. I mean, <clears throat> a whole load of people were basically brought, defrosted, and weren't able to do their jobs. Like, this guy's probably specific for this kind of ship. And we've not had a Pathfinder for like a year, etc. So, yeah, he's just been sitting around twiddling his thumbs. Um, yeah, I mean, it must have been hard, man. Like, you're just all that expertise going to waste, watching people die, watching the rebellions. Seems like life back there was pretty bleak. Not gonna lie, it sucked. I tend to live the way I work. Kind of feel it, do it. Not a lot of close ties. No real sense of purpose. Figured maybe I'd find my true calling in Andromeda. Then I got here and, oops, I just made a decision there's no turning back from. Yeah. I was going nuts on that station. You can't know how jazzed I was when you showed up. Well, not me specifically. I do more than just show up. Ah, oh, come on. Will this be the gay romance? Happy to be of service. I think you'll see that showing up is only one of my many talents. Is that right? Well... I'll be sure not to blink. I want to see them all. Let me know if I go too fast for you. <laughs> There's no such thing. You just keep pointing this ship wherever you want it to go, and I'll make sure she can get there. Deal? Deal. Okay, look, I've got to say this. I, I have to say this. I don't want to be overly critical. However, <laughs> the flirting dialogue is extremely stale. It's very wooden. It gets you where you need to be, but it's said in a way that is... I like you. I'll get you where you're going. I won't be too fast for you. It's just very matter-of-fact. There's no... There's no uh, casual sort of nuance, subtlety. It's, it's just missing a little bit of character. However... I think the voice actor for Gil, Mr. Renly Baratheon, is uh, extremely good. I liked how he put the emotion on his face, on his uh, on his words. Um, yeah, I, th I think he's a uh, very interesting character. I like the more we casual We haven't really ones. spoken since orientation, have we? It's all been so hectic, but I'm sure things will quiet down soon. Can't be worse than the Nexus. Hello? Hands off. She's mine. Oh. Ooh. Suvi, don't waste your time with that Solarian. He's got a lifespan of 40 years. Admittedly, you're Scottish. You have roughly the same. I'm allowed to say that. <laughs> ah, Pathfinder. It's so wonderful to meet you. Don't get up. I'm Dr. Suvi Anwar. Doctor. Assigned to act as liaison between your crew and the Nexus science team. Liaison? You spy on us? Welcome aboard, Suvi Anwar. Welcome to my team. I look forward to working with you. Likewise. I can't wait to get to work. There hasn't been much to do so far, unfortunately. I've studied all the planetary scans. I've even had some hands-on experience with Helios soil samples. If you want, I'll send you my analysis on the native bacteria and microfauna. 60 pages. How is that useful? That's such a harsh line. You should probably spend hours on it. So how is that useful? You just wasted your time and mine. No, oh, uh, wow, that's long. That's a lot of pages about dirt. 
Oh, you don't have to be kind. I know it's barely more than a summary. Anyway, I've waited months to get out there to see Helios. It's why I joined the initiative. The Milky Way was just a corner of a vast universe, a corner of a tiny corner. We're the ones who got to step out of that corner. It's incredible. I guarded a mass relay for some time. I always wanted to see the other side. I totally know what you mean. So will you be joining us on missions? Oh, <laughs> that's funny. Me, out there, with the guns and the danger and everything. Suvi, this will be like the pottery scene in that Patrick Swayze film. You hold the pistol and I'll guide you. I'm good with guns and danger. I could teach you and make sure you're okay out there. I appreciate the offer, but I'm happy where I am. Tinkering in labs. And, uh, in case you offered hoping to get to know me better, that's not gonna work. Oh. I mean, I prefer to keep things professional. I understand completely. Anyway, I've just received some instructions from the science team, and I really should go over them. Oh, that... Later, then. Oh, okay. <laughs> that has awkwardly brought the end of that conversation. <laughs> It's so corny. There's no human resources team on on the Tempest, is there? Like, I'm the only Pathfinder. They can't fire me. I kind of have tenure, so I can flow wherever I want. <laughs> I've just immediately come in and flirted with every single member of the team just to see whether or not I've got a chance. Callow. Let's eat some flies, my friend. Glad you stopped by. You'll pardon me if I keep an eye on our vector. That's probably Fine. smart. Suvi, you should be doing the uh, same. Nothing like being on the bridge of your very own ship, is there? Getting up and talking to me? Callow is on the job. Uh, no, you said you designed it. Come on, man, talk to me about that. That's really interesting. You mentioned something about helping design the Tempest? Test pilot, mostly. Plunging through the Nemean Abyss was almost a preparation for the Scourge. Of course, it took a whole team to build the Tempest. I was the only one to come to Helios, though. Oh, really? Why did you? What can I say? We poured our hearts into a ship that wouldn't realize her potential until Andromeda. I could have stood on the shore and waved goodbye, or took the leap to see how it all turned out. I'm really surprised none of the other team... Well, I suppose, no, they, they would have had the choice to, and they didn't want to. Um, if I was the initiative, I'd be doing everything possible to bring people along that knew how to build this thing, so we could have, like, 20 of them. Um, I'd have done the same, man. If I've made this labor of love, you don't just want to say goodbye to it. I get it. Like leaving a good story half finished. The team liked that one of us was going. It felt right after all we went through. I remember Serena debugging line 2281 over and over, chewing that green pencil. <laughs> Tion and O'Connell arguing equations, tapping on the console, three drips of coffee on the corner. You remember all that? Hmm? Oh, yes. Salarians have photographic memories, and apparently mine's unusually sharp. Like my past is still happening. Though I suppose with the Salarian arc missing, you might not get many chances to compare. All Salarians have photographic memories. No wonder Mordin was so good. Wow, okay. <clears throat> uh, have you heard anything on the Salarian arc? Did you hear anything about the arc back in the Nexus? Not a peep. Isn't that strange? You'd think there'd be something. Hmm. Not that I dislike your company, but it's lonely without other Salarians. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, there's Tan, but I wouldn't use him as a representative of your species. Um, we'll find them, man. We'll find them. Don't sweat it. We'll bring the Salarians home. Of course we will. I just have to be patient, that's all. I should get back to it, but thank you. I was afraid the Tempest would be mothballed after we lost your father. Hmm. We built her for this. She deserves to be in a Pathfinder's hands. Please, come by any time. I will, man. Thank you. Why can I not flirt with you? Where's my Salarian love interest? Okay, so, Suvi. Uh, I've decided we should see other people. Um, Lexi, uh, thank you for your interest, but I'm not... No, don't want to go there. Um, Cora's interesting. Vetra is interesting, and... Gil might have just edged ahead. Now I've got his personality. Um, it's, I'm acting like it's like a horse race. And let's see who takes the lead. Um, there's usually a few more, so we'll see if throughout the game. 
This is the dating episode. Um, uh, trying to read the stuff on the bottom. System view. Anomaly on sensors. Okay, an anomaly has been detected. Use the left stick while holding L1 to scan for the anomaly's location, and then press R to launch a code, uh, a probe. Hello? Uh, deploy flow. Probes launched. I found something. Element zero. I mean, this is pretty cool. Actively going through space to get there. And we have... A memory shard? Element zero deposit. For ten element zero, is that it? Oh, all right. <laughs> so, uh, phase in H nine I'll watch this one because it does say we can skip at the bottom. But I just want to see this one for a longer ride. I mean, it is quite cool because it is like a 3D interpretation of the planets that you actually go through. Uh, activate scanner. Oh, I can't read that. Uh, analysis. Jing is a small but scorching world, partially due to crushing nitrogen carbon dioxide atmosphere. Evidence suggests its icy ring was once a small comet. Okay. Well, I'm struggling to read all of that because it's blue on blue. Um, H599. Was that... Was that Habitat 7? I'm picking up something. Um, H909 was used as a rendezvous point during the Nexus' early attempt at exploration. Pilots still use the term a 99 run for a short journey with numerous hazards. Okay. Probes launched. Detecting what's left of a ship. The Caryatid. We've got a whole load of... Whoa. Quarian nav processor. The Quarians? It's purple. It could be a Quarian. Okay. So what have we got some clues about where the Quarians are? Oh my god. Okay. Um. <clears throat> so is this... Is all of this the Scourge? Or is this the Scourge? I imagine this is. The little coral stuff. Um, well, let's go to Pythias. And let's get feet on the ground. Let's play some Mass Effect. <laughs> Dating Simulator has had a 50% success rate. System, Pythias. Andromeda Initiative Habitat 1. The opening of Doctor Who? Eos. It was supposed to be an easy first step. Until no one else showed and we got clobbered. Twice. Why has Sam altered frequency detection? What are we hearing, Sam? There is a signal pathfinder. I recommend an immediate examination of Eos. Okay, immediate. We are going to skip these because they do take a while. I imagine going around and scanning every single planet is a little uh, laborious. A mirror of the signal on Habitat 7. Possible atmospheric manipulation. Is that possible? We'll find out. If it is like Habitat 7, no doubt we'll run into the cat. So it's a desert world with significant resources. EOS is often wracked by deadly radiation-contaminated storms. Catalogued as non-viable after numerous attempts to settle. Signal detected similar to the devices on Habitat 7. Okay. <clears throat> Right. So.
the Pewdie die. You yeah, fucking named it that. Um, do we? Uh, can we? Mods. What mods do I have? An AR stock. Ah no. No, what the fuck? Okay. That has not worked. Um, pistol predator or the Pathfinder Ranger. That's a pistol. Oh, it's a submachine gun. Okay, there we go. Very careful not to press the button that actually starts the level, which I've done so many times. I am pressing all the wrong buttons. Scope? Yeah, why not? Uh, B. Got the PewDiePie. die. Okay. So we've got the Mattock and the Predator. Unlocked by Combat, Combat Fitness 3 Extra Holster. Okay. And Omni Blades. We have a list so I can make a Krogan Hammer. And oh, what I want is a sword, but I don't want one that I have to use biotics for. <clears throat> what do we got? Armor. Deep Space Exploration Scavenger Armor. Oh, that's cool. I like that. <laughs> Star Lord. Alright, yeah, we'll keep the scavenger armor. Why not? Uh, consumables. Overdrive pack. Immediately reloads all weapons. Yeah, alright. Squad. Liam and Cora. Um. <clears throat> Oh, hello. That kind of looked like Best Genist from My Hero Academia. That's a chunky lad. Am I going to get a Krogan? That, that's a Krogan. And... Quarian? Although it looks a bit thick around the neck. Maybe that's a Ket. I'm going Krogan, Ket, and Best Genist. Uh, but we are going to have Vetra, definitely. A life lived outside the establishment turned Vetra into a street smart survivor. Unorthodox skills picked up from her time as a smuggler make her a dangerous opponent, but it's her piecemeal kit collected over years of trading with the criminal underworld that lets her dish out real damage while protecting herself and her allies. Yep. Welcome to the team. What? No. There we go. Yes. Drifter Mercenary. We haven't got biotics. Liam. We'll have you a little bit. We're in crisis response here. I don't want uh, Cora running off and like a, a sorry Huntress. And unknown. Well, that's ominous. But let's go. See you on the ramp. Ready, Freddy? Hope we're all there, ready. <laughs> cool. Callow. All right. Integrating search area from Sam. How he pulled that mystery signal through the storms, I have no idea. Multisensory neural collision. Amazing. Factory fresh across the board. Spinning up the compensators. You're already tuning the displays. We'll get a better read on this pass than the Nexus has had in months. What? I said a lot of people have their hopes pinned on us. They gave up on Eos. Can't blame them. Expected a golden world, instead they saw their friends die. Never know how that'll affect. Oh, sorry. You okay? The thing is, even if it was golden worlds, wouldn't we be living like quarians for at least three, four generations? Maybe more? Because it's going to be a different galaxy, so it's different, um, just different everything. The, the very basics of bacteria could be so different that we die from it. War of the World style. <clears throat> you okay? 
It's my job as a new Pathfinder. As much as I am 100% feeling that Dad's lost, this is not the moment to suddenly bum everyone out. We're landing on a planet. I don't know if these guys have been on the planet before. I don't think they have. You know, Liam and um, Cora definitely would have, because they got woken up with me. So, it's my job as a new Pathfinder. I've got the training. People. The tools. Oh, yeah. We can do this. Pathfinder, the Tempest checks out. We're good. We just need a Krogan. That's all. Take us down. <clears throat> you have no idea how long I've wanted a Pathfinder to say that. Let's keep it professional, Susie. Keep it in your pants. The desert and radiation doesn't Corazon. fill me with... Shields holding, adjusting entry. We got this. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah. We're, we're, we're good, right? This, this is normal. Hell. There. Sit us down at this nav point. Already stuck there. <laughs> How to even start? Reports state this planet suffers deadly storms that are contaminated by radiation from the Scourge. EO's deployment was incomplete due to environmental hazards and, ultimately, hostile encounters. Plus, no Pathfinder. If EOS is like Habitat 7, that signal we scanned must be connected with the atmosphere. We could use the outpost's antenna to track it down. Let's get the power back on. They must have known these wouldn't last in these conditions. If they didn't have a Pathfinder. They do now. We'll make EOS off. Oh, we'll certainly try. Looks like salvage. New. Days ago, no. Who else is here? Ooh, nothing scan worthy. Can I scan the Tempest? No, I can't. No relevant data on the Tempest. Okay. Um. I mean, this is massive. Like... <laughs> Oh, whoa, okay. So, it really feels like this is... Rather than a level, you just have a big map. And you can kind of... Kind of go wherever you want. I mean, I'm okay with that. Uh, we've got skills, haven't we? Oh, I've got three points. Tower gun damage! I'm <laughs> a terrible, terrible player. Um, profiles. Didn't I... Don't I need a profile-y thing? Profile. Engineer is on. So do I have a drone? Blinky Jr. Door's getting emergency power, but it's code locked. Site 1 issued individual security codes. Each outpost self-organizes and sets its own protocol. Just say we can't open it without codes. We can't open it without codes. <laughs> Thanks, Sam. You'll get there, man. Uh, okay. Now go over there. It's a good thing it's showing me where these codes are. I mean... Lake is good. Drinkable? Judging by the high radiation, I'm guessing no. I did go waist high, so my chances of having children are now gone. Datapad. Got a code lock key. Cool. That should help get us in. 
play audio log. We suffered our first death today. Storm came out of nowhere. Lockley tried to cover our crops. Lost his footing. Got swept away. His wife is still in cryo. Maybe by the time they wake her up, I'll know what to say. Log botany analysis. Alison May. New entry. What are you hiding, Eos? The plants exhibit sporadic hypergrowth, despite an environment that can sandblast paint. I'm starting to suspect an electromagnetic trigger. I detected a signal of some kind. Definitely alien, but that's not my field. Uncertain if deliberate. Vector noted. Okay. So they really were just scientists. So if the Ket did arrive here, they'd have no way of defending themselves. Feels very more detective like this game. Ah, right. That might be the thing that's feeling a bit off for me. It's feeling like a detective game, like I've got to find stuff out, but it's telling me exactly where to go to find it. So it kind of feels like it's... It's just making me run from place to place? Like, it would be nice if I actually had to work it out myself. Main door had power, but not the interior doors? Full functionality would require an active power relay station. That means the antenna's out of power, too. The logs might tell us what's up with the power relay. Message for Nick Faniopoulos. People are talking here, saying that EOS isn't viable, that things aren't going like they expected. I think you should come back. I know what you're going to say. I didn't sign up for the initiative to stay trapped in a floating tin can, and I promise you can have your adventure later, when they've had more time to plan for your safety. Mum told me to make sure you don't get in over your head, and that's what I'm doing. At least think about it, for me, and check in more often. I've started to adopt Mum's worry. Already chewed through the nail of my pinky finger. It's up to you whether I keep the rest of my nails intact. Love you. Aww. Hello. Sorry to bug you again. I requested an update on Lee Wells a few days ago and I haven't heard anything back. On my end, it looks like the message wasn't even opened. Is everything okay there? Get back to me as soon as you can and tell Leah to message me back. <clears throat> so did this entire place go dark or did some people make it back? We're not seeing bodies, which is good. Love my little drone. Don't like that he only comes out when I've got a gun out, but... I got a partial log, but I can't turn on the antenna. Something's blocking the power. A remote lock is active. The interference originates from a nearby power relay tower. Let's check out this relay tower. Yeah. Container. Some iron. Cool. Just loose iron. Sandstorms, radiation. What the hell was Addison thinking sending us here? Eos might have looked great back in the Milky Way, but up close. It's a hellscape. Farthingale's on my case to stay positive. Put on a brave face for the rest of the team. But I can't shake the feeling that I'm going to die out here. Yeah, that guy seemed way too badass to be a scientist. <laughs> right, so... I've got to stop doing that. Look at this place. It's a wasteland. The radiation in Eos's atmosphere makes it difficult to cultivate life. Radiation? Our suits protect against that, right? Site 1 contains shield masts, to dampen the brunt of contamination. But if we went outside Site 1's perimeter? That would not be advised. Gotcha. Fluorite. A source of low dispersion optics, flux, ceramics, and enamels. Also vital for the manufacture of hydro uh, hydrofluoric acid for various applications. Cool. Huh. 
Man. Yeah, it feels like an exploration game, but one that tells you exactly where to go, so there's not a huge amount of exploration kind of needed, if that makes sense. It's Callow in there just looking at us running around. Structure up ahead. Sam? It fits the profile of a power relay station pathfinder. Right. We get it running, maybe buildings get power. This then we'll know where to look for that signal. This thing. Hello. Huh. Guess that ship wasn't kept then. They don't knock. There are people here? We thought everyone left was gone. Of course you did. Now shove off. Find <laughs> your own salvage. This spot's taken. I'm here to help, douchebag. I'm not a salvager. I'm a pathfinder. We've come to fix all this. Call me Clancy. Pathfinder, huh? Like that changes much. The Nexus just can't let Eos go, can it? However much it fails down here. I'm tracking a signal that will help Eos. I only need power for the antenna. Look, I cut the power for a reason. The Ket are patrolling today. You turn the power relay back on, they'll know there's a juicy target alive down here. Leave the Ket to me. Help me with the power relay? And I'll take care of the cat. You're crazy. Though maybe it's a good crazy. Okay, I'll enable the generators out there. You want to poke the tiger, it's on you. I do. That's right. Expect uh... trouble when we start the generators. Oh yeah. There's an error in the startup sequence. Manual input required. Damn it. Please scan one of the pylons to determine a hackable input location. Generator interface possible. Location marked. Uh, oh, we go up there. Hello. Generator is active. Sam, our friend Clancy, was he part of the outpost team here? No, Pathfinder. According to Nexus records, he's stationed in the hangar bay. So he's what? Playing hooky? Salvage will buy him more than rations. True. If this place is fully abandoned and he's uh, doing salvage. Can I change my teammate's setups? Oh, for, oh, well, okay, I haven't put anything in here. <clears throat> so I can't change these completely. Um, let's give you second level in military training so I can't like give these guys like what I can do um, concussive shot knock them on their ass etc and then we'll stick one in there do I not have one more? oh no I don't have one more that's fine okay but I can't change their loadouts can I? can I change guns? I want to, like, even if they've only got two guns, like, can I switch between them? Can I map their abilities? Am I just missing it? Uh, there's no squad button anymore. Okay, we'll keep it as it is for now. Oh, shit. Hello. Oh, look at him. Fierce motherfucker. There we go, that's fine. And I've got this, but I can't. Yeah, I can't seem to make uh make them change guns. Really, Ryder? <laughs> yeah, that's right, bitch. I'm on your ship. Take this, Suvi. There we go. I've lost. I've, I'm lost. Hang on. Okay, put, put the gun away, right? Put the gun away. You're in exploration mode now. There we go. It's fine. <clears throat> right. We've got company. Oh, where? Oh, 
Oh, oh, wrong button. Okay, there we go. There we go. Ah, there. Where's my cover? Mattock, still good, still good. Is my drone doing anything? I didn't really pay much attention during that fight. Whoa, hey, oh, hang on. It's my understanding you're all dead. They weren't kidding about the cat. The power relay station is ready for activation, Pathfinder. We go back up to see him. Pathfinder, that door is locked. It's inoperable, Pathfinder. Well, wow. too long in this environment without power. Standard equipment. That's all we had to give them. Hello. We killed a bunch of cat. You took down all those cat? Sure. Use the power relay. Hell, take whatever you like. Word of advice, though. If that signal of yours is out past the perimeter, you'll need a ride. A ride? Shuttles aren't fun in these winds. You need wheels. I think they kept a little something in storage. Not a hammerhead, not a hammerhead, not a hammerhead. Yeah, and you didn't take it? Didn't get around to salvaging it yet? I tried. It ain't that simple. Might be easier for a Pathfinder, though. We're heading to our shuttle. Keep this up. Maybe next time we'll find more than just salvage around here. Did you buy and sell? Don't suppose you've got anything we can use? Yeah, okay, here we go. Cobra RPG. <laughs> Matic, we've already got that. Uh, I'll sell all my salvage. What happens if you buy the same gun again? Does it, like, level up to number two? Okay, I don't think he's really got anything that interesting. But we will sell a bunch of crap to it. Crazy blue. AR scope. Oh, okay. Matic with a scope. Outpost power controls. Power restored. We should have access to everything in Site 1 now, right, Sam? Correct. Plus, I've located the source of the signal we detected in orbit. It's coming from the large alien structure just beyond Site 1. The structure appears almost identical to the one your father used to adjust the atmosphere on the previous planet. It's worth investigation. Absolutely. That almost feels like a lead. Damn right it's worth investigating. Here, here. A warning. Radiation levels beyond the perimeter of Site 1 are well above acceptable limits. You cannot proceed without additional protection. All the more reason to see if that alien structure can make a difference to this planet. Come on. We better find that vehicle Clancy mentioned. Okay. Now the power is restored, we can investigate the nearby buildings. And we will. Uh, I am very quickly just going to change one thing on here. <clears throat> which is... I think that's the gunshots. <laughs> just blowing my face off a little bit. We'll just try that for now. Nope, that's still really loud. I'll take it down to there. It's still really loud. Oh well. Right, where was this door that didn't have any power? No. If walls could talk. Actually, with enough sensory data, I might be able to reconstruct an image of the past. What? Wait, you can do that? Normally, it would be impossible. 
but since this is an initiative building, I have access to a multitude of data and arrays. Let's give it a shot. I could provide analysis via the scanner, Pathfinder. Okay. Oh, do I just show him the whole room and he'll reconstruct? Works. Can you get audio? Compiling now. We can't survive another attack. The storms and radiation were already killing us. Mm. Now we've got those things. We can't return to the Nexus with our tails between our legs. The whole station is counting on us. Then they're counting on corpses. Damn. That's grim. Hmm. Deceased. Deceased. Did they clean up the bodies or? Cadmium. Wilcox thinks I'm crazy, but I know what I saw. Eyes on the mountain watching us. We're not alone out here. This log was recorded a day before the first Ket ambush on Site 1. The Ket scouted them out. Ah. Log site two, work crews. Chief Engineer Grace Leto. My radiation shields are dead, but I finally made it to site one. Promise is a ghost town. Damn it, there's got to be something the storms and rat pack salvages didn't take away. Without the project, site two is done for. Our crews get torn apart faster than we can patch things up, and we hear that that thing at night. Can't pretend it's the weather anymore. Wind doesn't roar like it's hungry. Update. Managed to pry enough components out for the project and patch up my shields. I'm heading home to Site 2 if it's still there. There was something very wrong at the second outpost they made. Trouble with the cat? Whatever it was, Site 2 made a special project to handle it. Let's keep it in mind for later. Okay. So at Site 2, there's a thing that can kill the cat? Is this... Hello? Special requisition all-terrain scout rover. A nomad. Six-wheel drive. Jump jets. Just what you need. They're Mako. So shiny. <laughs> this must be what Clancy meant. The crate requires an access code from a forward station. Forward stations act as emergency resupply checkpoints. Several are currently in orbit. I can call one down. Let's find a good spot. Okay, a forward station. Low running to and fro. protocols activated. Deploying forward station. Oh, hello. Looks like the forward station supplies are intact. Downloading Nomad Crate access code. Board station protocol initiated. Habitat 1, named EOS, does not match initiative pre-flight profiles. Advanced predictives are no longer applicable. Parameters require 94% rework. Known. Habitat 1 EOS. Discovered Atrofounder Giangarcium. Discovered Attributor? Founder Giangarcian. A Garson. Um... Orbital data on board, spectrographic profiles working, geosounding working, radiation, SV, lethal at deployment, alert. Fallout from Scourge is exceptionally volatile on contact with equally aggressive decline. More data needed. Additional forward stations coordinate, coordination required. Ongoing. Okay. Um... So it's Gian Garson that actually found this place. Interesting. Right. Are we going to get a Mako? Or is it going to be a Hammerhead? Give me something good.
<laughs> it's kind of like a Borderlands boss thing where it comes out and there's a freeze frame. It's a Mako. Okay. That is... Oh, automatic doors. Elon Musk, get on it. The Nomad should handle pretty smooth. Check both forward and reverse, would you? Uh, the Nomad's life support systems can protect you from ha hazards longer than your combat armor, but not for an unlimited time. The Nomad will do something. Oh, there's actually accelerating... Oh, okay. We're proper driving game now. As opposed to just pressing forward. So do we... Do we head out? Radiation. Ugh, can't get traction. It's too steep. Switch to six-wheel drive. It'll get you up there in a snap. Switch to six-wheel drive. Okay, uh, the jumping's not doing much. We will boost! Okay, how do we six-wheel drive? Um, LB? Okay, okay, LB makes you six-wheel drive. Why don't we just stay in six-wheel drive? Remember the Nomad's jump jets. They'll get you over most obstacles. If you need more juice, the boosters can accelerate you out of trouble. Ah! Where's the gun? I want to run them over. Are things in the Andromeda... Are they just indestructible? Let's get you under a wheel. There we go, there we go, die. Can I get out? Right. The Kurkin. Can I not get a body and analyze it? <laughs> Good kill. Okay, that'll do. Shell filaments. Oh, cool. So we actually get loot from enemies. Okay. <laughs> Carry on. So, ramming things with the six-wheel drive rover, not good. Oh. Got it. Signals coming from that structure up ahead. Following the tracks. Safe condition. So we've got dampness around here as well. <clears throat> Everyone out. Platinum. Oh, what the hell's that? Oh, that's ominous. I'm picking up initiative tech nearby from above us. I see it up on that piece with the scaffolding. Too sophisticated for a salvager. Who else is studying this place? Okay. A remnant blast shield. The blast shield appears capable of adjusting its mass to absorb heavy impacts. Nice, okay. That's like that, uh, what do they call it? A non-Newtonian... Is it a non-Newtonian fluid? Something like that. It's like a gel that if you hit it hard, it becomes a solid. Okay. Interface. It's working, but I'm just getting random symbols. Glyphs. With more glyphs to expand my database from Habitat 7, I could interface fully with the console. 
and hopefully start up whatever helps the atmosphere. I could provide analysis via the scanner, Pathfinder. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Let's go. Oh. Hello. Okay, that looks rather ominous. You have to find these signs, it's Pathfinder. It's slippery, but there's a great view! Worth carrying heavy gear up there? Guess someone thought so. You have to find these signs, Pathfinder. They're up there. <laughs> like, exactly up there. Okay. Oh. That should do it. Is that okay? I found the secret sign. Building connection. I apologize for any discomfort. The system seems unstable. This what happened when my dad tried doing this? Your father interfaced directly with the atmosphere processor. That proved extremely hazardous. These structures could reveal its control center. System remains unstable. Doubling our power input might accelerate the process. I'll give it a shot. off or I will push you down whoa easy you've come this far just let it ride I've been studying this tech for months I don't know how you activated those glyphs um, but you have to let them cycle through their I'm channels push her off <laughs> it's going to be all right trust me okay okay I know I know who am I? Yeah. I mean, it's obvious who you are. I saw the ship swoop in. You're a Pathfinder. I was beginning to think the initiative just made you guys up so the rest of us wouldn't lose hope, but you're for real, huh? You think? Maybe you want to knock me down a couple more times? Oh, Jesus, sure. right to calm down. No, that's okay. You're obviously corporeal. Pretty solidly built, actually. Thanks. I work out. Well, look at that. System has stabilized. I'm establishing a connection. Oh, crap. Oh, that's, I found one of them on Habitat 7. I know these things from Habitat 7. Yeah, that's just what Later. I said. Just take them out. You got away. Keep targeting that one. They make a little bot. I'm the only one that makes little bots around here. Go team. We good? Not bad. My first tangle with the remnant was a lot messier. The remnant? These monoliths, the observer and assembler bots, they're all the remnants of something much bigger. But that's too long. Ugh, I hate long. So, The Remnant. Like, my name's better as PB. Oh, I like the name PB. Good to meet you. Thanks for helping with those things. I'm Ryder. You're a mystery. I've been studying those glyphs for months. And then you arrive and... Pff, solved. I saw this tech clear the skies on Habitat 7. We're hoping it could do the same for Eos. Huh. Atmosphere manipulation? Maybe fits the model. All remnant tech is connected. You interfaced with this monolith somehow, and now it's pinging the others. If you wake them up too, they must lead to whatever master switch might fix the radiation. So we follow the thread. Interface with the monoliths, follow the connection to the source. Easy enough. Triangulate a position. Sure. Just don't piss off too many observers. <clears throat> Here, take my nav points. I'll be... I've got to figure this interfacing out. Just be careful. This planet's all kinds of strange. Okay. Um, you staying here? All right. Where'd you go? Oh, there you go. No, I want to stay and talk. I like your little bandit Dick Turpin head thing. Fascinating, huh? Yeah. Oh, this is the kind of stuff that gets you out of bed in the morning, too. Absolutely. <laughs> no, my sense of duty does. No, fuck off. Yes. 
Solving alien mysteries on hostile worlds? Do you need to ask? <laughs> A man after my own heart. Follow my nav points, figure out those monoliths, and we can both get some answers. Oh, hell yes. Um, why are you here? <laughs> How did you get here? After what happened with the outposts, I didn't expect to run into anyone. I had a ride. Had to fudge the flight plan a little. The Nexus didn't want to risk anyone else. Or let people see how rough it got. Sad. But there's still so much here. And some of us want to find it. We didn't come all this way to sit on our hands. That's fair. Uh, Remnant Bot. So you named them. You didn't like the, the longer name, so you called them Remnant. The bots we're seeing. You had names for them? Oh, Observer. I had to call them something. The Observers fly around <clears> spying <throat> on anyone who touches this tech. The Assembler ones make other remnant. Not sure how yet. Maybe manufacturing or 3D printing? 3D printing. And Breachers smash into anything they don't like. Which is us. Easy to remember. Yep, that's fair. I've got two 3D printers that I use to make D&D &D, uh, um, maps, basically. I use it to make the terrain and the D&D &D, uh, maps for my team. And, uh... <laughs> It is the slowest process, as it goes and fills up one millimetre of a layer and then moves up one millimetre and does another millimetre of a layer. They're doing it a bit quicker. Uh, what's your name? You said it's short for PB. Oh, sorry, PB is short for it, which I fucking love PB as a name. Um, what else are you What else are you called? Is PB a typical Asari name? No, it hasn't got a T in it. Do I seem typical? Never been accused of that. It's a name. Good enough and short enough. For now. Why do I get the feeling it's like Tepebe? <laughs> like something Tepebe? Because all of the Asari names have T apostrophe something. Um, have you seen any other people come around here? Have you not got a team? Is anyone else camped out on Eos? There's the Ket, Clancy Salvagers, and one angry old man. Who do you mean? Let's just say he's here to squish Ket. And doesn't care whose gear he tramples. Okay. So we just got a serial killer for Ket. I mean, that, that works in our favour. Um, have you, what have you noticed about the atmosphere? We're hoping this tech can fix the atmosphere and make Eos livable. Think it's possible? Yes. Maybe. Possibly? This tech is so new. I mean, old here, but new to us? Who knows what it can do? How old is it exactly? It's been dormant for centuries, which I guess isn't actually that old. No, not in the... Huh. But long enough for conditions here to get royally screwed up, if they really are connected. Hmm. Well, I'll head out. Yes, so much to investigate. Let's get to it. Yeah, no, that's fine. Um, yeah, I mean, a couple of hundred years old is nothing for technology, like ancient technology. Um... <clears throat> it's going to be interesting to find out why this has happened. Uh, right, where are we going next? Detecting above normal radiation levels. Yep, I know, Sam. Radiation no. within safe levels. We're coming out of it again. Life support restored. Uh, not anymore. What was with that fight back there? It's called flanking. Your shields were drained. Their shields get hit, they drain. That's what they're for. Risky, irresponsible. Yeah, I'm going to take a lecture on responsibility from you. What's that supposed to mean? Just keep your judgment to yourself, unless you want the same. Jesus, Liam? What the fuck are you... A scourge site is nearby, Pathfinder. Remnant activity may be unstable. We getting out, lads? I think we getting out. Shields are up! Take the fire! Protecting something? That's it for now. What the fuck? Scourge energy pocket. 
A cluster of dark energy similar to the Scourge, but on a smaller scale, will disrupt electronic systems like sh shields and damage organic life forms. Charillion. A savage quadruped predator that camouflages itself to sneak up on prey. That's what the Ket were using. I've picked up readings of Nexus issued equipment. Okay, hang on. Inorganic Keep lubricant. Nearby. Container. Remnant polymer, iridium, and an observer lens. Research notes from Anna Corral. A group of us arrived from the Nexus as trailblazers on EOS. Most of my people already want to go back, but I'm determined, at the very least, to do some good for the initiative. I've discovered these ruins. Don't know what to make of them yet, but I'm going to continue researching them. Whoever constructed this could still be here in Helios, and we need their help. This isn't what GN Garson envisioned. The person who left this behind, she was part of the first wave of colonists, wasn't she? The probability is high. This researcher may have left data pads at other remnant sites as well. Okay. Explosive! Okay, no, we're moving away from that. <clears throat> so this is mini Scourge. So what we need to do is we need to basically colonize this area, make it completely safe, and then just send a team against it. And we're talking scientists just throwing random shit at Uh, see what reacts with it positively, negatively, because if it's that small, we should be okay. Right, now, the task at hand... I don't know what Liam's problem was. Is that my assault Got turret all. hitting it? My god, that's far away. Um, yeah, Liam, you've got a... You've, you've got a chill, man. Like... Veterans on our when side. they sent the first colonists down here, everyone was so excited. After all the shit the Nexus had been through, we finally had something to believe in. Then the reports came back. This time will be different. Yeah, I'm more than ready to believe again. So Vetra's actually been out for a fair while, was actually on the Nexus. So she's seen the, uh, the comeback from Eos. People being demoralized. I wonder why she was um, released so early from cryo. You know, not a, not an insult to her, but what the fuck is that? Can't scan it. It's a truck, dude. That's cool. I want one of them. It's like the VW camper van of. Uh, of space travel. That's cool. See, a Vetra seems to have had a hard life, but I wonder why she was uh, released so early. Because an argument could be made that, I mean, she's here with her little sister as well. I what her little sister does. She seemed quite young. I wonder if she managed to sort of trick her little sister, trick her, um, not trick, Fix her little sister to be released. I don't know where I'm going here. The Golden Waste. So what a lovely named place. Is there no guns on this thing? That looks like a cat facility of some kind. Oh. Those assholes took over my best research site. They won't let you near the monolith without a fight. Well, let's give them one then. Where did that go? It was a lot further than I thought it would be. There we go. 
don't know if I may have just yeeted my turret into a cliff face, but that is fine. Hostile shuttle incoming. You don't want a hostile shuttle incoming, Sam, shoot it down. What kind of gun does Vetra have? I, I, there's a bit less sort of customization you can do with your teammates. Oh, there we go. Oh! No! No! That's not what I want to do. <laughs> I was so focused on the ones down there. Alright. Guessing we can throw one down there. Yes, we can. Okay. Cool. Thank you for the grenade. It was entirely unnecessary. Never go wrong with a matic, my friends. <laughs> Did those kids seem shaken up? Did they? Seem pretty dead to me. Um, right. <clears throat> Tech. So we've got a salt turret. We need another one. We need something else incinerate which is a classic it is a classic but there's quite a few new ones here uh, energy drain is always going to be good i mean do you just have a flamethrower like is that unknown uh invasion well, let's not go completely tech let's see uh, i kind of want to avoid the biotics because in my head, a biotic, you know, you have to be a biotic. You can't just put a piece of equipment on and do biotic stuff. And my ride is not a biotic, so uh, that seems a little weird to have that there. Combat fitness. So I can't be bulky until I put more into this. Combat tools. Plus 2% combat power damage. Increased melee damage. Nah, that, well, if I get a sword, maybe. If I can get drones and a sword and then just put everything into health and melee damage, that that is the build I'm going to do. Like, that would just be so fun. Um, auxiliary systems. Increased tech duration. Plus three tech effect duration. So that would be the drones. Tech power force. Tech construct damage. Tech construct... Yeah, this is the drone level. Okay, there we go. Oh yeah. Right, uh, Vetra has two points, Liam has two points. So Vetra, you get level two. Let's put level two Turian Smuggler. And Liam, you are lucky I don't banish you back to the Tempest for being mean to Vetra. Vetra, you've got to understand that if Liam wants to die in combat, you should let him. They've got the monolith well protected. We'll need to cut that shield's power supply. Can I go over? Oh, I can. Hello. Aha. Uh oh. Let's get to it before there's any more cat. <laughs> 
Daddy of uh, Krogan. I love you. Who are you? Anything you want me to be. Impressive entrance. <laughs> that was pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, it was. Ah. Oh. Still haven't told me who you are. Do chill. Oh, come on, Drax. Stop that. Vetra, what are you doing here? I'm with the Pathfinder. That Pathfinder. A friend of Vetra's a friend of mine. Yay! My name's Scott Ryder. I'm Drac, Clan Nackmore. Nackmore. You'll forgive me if I didn't just trust a stranger from the Nexus. They haven't exactly treated us Krogan well. What are you doing out here? All I can say is that happened before I even arrived in the cluster. So, um... Yeah, um... Exploring. Judging by hit... Ah, oh, is that the one that PB said was an old man? A grumpy old man killing cat? So he doesn't give a shit about exploring. No, we're holding our own, man. You're not the only one hunting, Cat. Yeah, bet you're mowing down an army with that gear. <laughs> you got cat Nexus bones no on your shit armor? About the cat. They think they're safe. <sighs> but they're just waiting to die out there in space. I've been quads deep on a couple of planets for a while now. <laughs> taking out cat bases, fighting ground troops. Yeah, I know what they can do. It's not pretty. You know, Drac, we could use someone with your skills. Yes. Tempting as that is, Vetra, I'm a little too old to be carrying humans through a fight. Besides, the day I help the Nexus again is the day the clouds part and the cat keel over. No offense. Because little tiny. None taken. Good, because I'm getting bored and the cat are getting stronger. Seem particularly interested in this alien tech. Remnant? Yeah, that. I'm gonna go find more to shoot. Try to keep your head out there. Just one Krogan going to war with an entire alien race. If that's what one Krogan can do, Tan is an idiot. I say we kill Tan. A slain Ket Wraith. A tooth has been extracted following its death, most likely taken for a trophy. Oh. I think he also took his heart to eat or something. I don't know. He seems fun. <laughs> I like him. I like him a lot. Well, seeing as he was in here. A field log, Pathfinder. Issued to patrolling cat. I don't need a translation to know when I'm hearing a monster. Adding to language database. Oh, will we be able to translate them at some point? Ne necropsy. Only the title of this message can be clearly translated. The rest is written in cat script. Only a few words can be translated without more language study. Partial translation, lesser species, unremarkable disposal. Okay. I know we've only been on two planets, but there's not, like, thriving alien life, sentient alien life. Not even, like, scroungers at the moment. <clears throat> so these people kind of what the Protheans did in which they wiped out all the lesser species or they joined them unremarkable disposal and they've deemed us lesser species <laughs> they clearly didn't uh, look at a Krogan before that component got a component for Site 2's project okay good I think Sure, why not? Um, right. Well, we've got something over here. Guys. Oh! <laughs> How did you teleport in behind me? Let me scan. Uh, 
Oh shit, a whole load of yellow. Bloody hell. Alright. Let's get some ammo and health in case we need it. Oh, it's one of PV's scanners that has fallen off. This scanner has been toppled and requires maintenance to continue functioning. So it fell off up there, I'm guessing. You'll need to scan for the missing glyphs, Pathfinder. <clears throat> okay. Wonder if I'd get anything on the scanner. I wonder if you will. Thank you for holding my hand. Um. Okay, so we're going up there again. Like, I don't get the logic behind what this is. Like, so. These machines are for repairing stuff, and they have been broken? Or they, they are tri triangulating the control panel, and they are broken. That's missing a scanner object, or a, a glyph, and the glyph is here? Does that mean all of these have a glyph? Like, I understand the game puzzle, but I don't understand the logic behind the game puzzle. This interface console appears to control the flow of large amounts of energy. Well, la di da for it. Well, I am being radianized. Jump! Right. I think that's enough. Good. At what point do we just get a jetpack? Like, rather than a booster, just an actual jetpack. Hey! That did... Whatever that did, I see pathways lighting up all over. The monoliths are resonating. QEC contact? Well, whatever's happening, they're definitely connecting. What? You did good! Keep doing more. <laughs> Thank you. I will keep doing good. Okay, that means we've got one more to do. Let's see if I can get that done before... Uh... Oh, hello. Yeah, see if I can get that done before uh... video ends. That's the wrong button. I am Ryder! There we go. Athlete. Let's go, Liam. Come on, catch up, man. Oh, yes. Right. Are they in the car, or do they have to catch up? Nope, they're in the car. That's fine. That's fine. I just don't want to, just don't want to get a message that says, Liam died. Right. Turn around. Turn around. And then we head over to that one on the map. So, I mean, we can just explore this place. However we like, I guess. I mean, I'm following the story right now. Enemies! Why? Where? Who? Remember when they got the first day to an EOS back home? When everywhere was labelled H with know. a bunch of numbers? Every it looked dry, sure, but not kill you dead. Between this and Habitat 7, I'm hoping the others are just a little bit golden. Oh, that's all. So, this one looked dry. So I'm guessing what you're kind of saying is that... Yeah, it's... Um... Oh, to hell with it. Come on, let's kill some cat. Nope, that didn't work. Oh, that did work. Can you shoot from there? Nice work. Was that it? But there's more? Scourge Remnant. Don't let it touch you. There we go. Cut. 
Charging an overload. I think we're done. No, we're not. Oh. Enemies. There we go. Now we're nice done. Shot. Right, lithium. Pathfinder, there is Nexus equipment Hello. nearby. We had our first death yesterday. Morale is dropping. People are getting sick. Now more than ever, I'm determined to find something of value in these technological ruins. I know there's vital data here, but I can't access it. Even with my decryption skills, it locks me out. But I can't give up. The Nexus is counting on us to be the vanguard of the initiative. I'm going to keep moving, and I hope I find something of use. Any hope this researcher is still alive? That outcome is unlikely. If exposed too long, pre-vault radiation would cause terminal health issues. Then maybe her work survived. We need to find the other research sites. Free vault. What do you mean by pre vault? Pre vault radiation. Is that what the name of their, their um, discovery is on site two? A special vault to lock the cat in. Here they come! Who? Nah, that's fine. All terrain mode! Oh, yes. Okay, so it's like an... It's like a... Mako... With no guns... That you have to choose between speed... That responsibility thing. It's about my sister, isn't it? Good sleuthing, Sherlock. Gold star. Your mouth's gonna get your ass in trouble. My mouth didn't drag a kid to Andromeda. Screw you, Costa. She had a choice. Some choice. Lose you or come here. Crazy how upbeat she is, considering. Stay out of my shit and don't talk to my sister. Holy shit. I will say this. Massive, massive plus points for making teammates that don't get on. There's no way you thrust a bunch of such opinionated characters into an area and they all Best just shelter water stable ground it was initially overlooked due to heavy kept presence at the nearby remnant structure but it would be an excellent outpost site cat and remnant seems you can't find one without the other so if we clear the skies this might be our new home okay um yeah, so if all these really, really opinionated characters, you're not going to get them all getting along. They're going to have arguments, and rightly so. Mass Effect 2 touched on it a little bit when you had uh, Legion and Tally and Jack and Miranda. The Site 1 folks were interested in the monoliths too. Did they learn anything? Mostly what you learn the hard way. But hey, now you're here. Okay. So, I mean, I'll, I'll be very interested to see what happens with Vetra and Liam. Right now, I mean, the first chance I get to put Liam back on the ship and then get Cora out, I'm doing it. <laughs> Look, there's no way in hell Liam gets to talk like that to anyone. Making it seem like it's a mistake. Like, oh, you More don't even bots. know Vetra. These ones don't seem hostile. They're not hostile. Oh, okay. Hello. Remnant Hello. Up. What? The oh, no! Now they're hostile! Who the fuck said they weren't hostile? She's trying to get me killed? A little heavy breathing in the uh, in the helmets afterwards as well. Oh, TJ, you're looking bad. Turret Junior. 
I was going to call uh, Blinky Blinky Jr., but then I remembered I used the initials, and that's not something I want to keep saying during my streams. So uh, we'll come up with a different name for the uh, for the orb. I detect a high level of remnant encryption here, Pathfinder. To continue, you will need to decrypt it. What do you want me to scan? What? Decryption impossible due to missing glyph information. Scan nearby surroundings for glyphs. Guess we need more of those pictures. Uh, and they're up there again. Okay. Is there anything to jump on? Remnant console? I'll need to use the interface that controls this. How do you know that? Interface successful, Pathfinder. Okay. So we have that. Can I jump over there? Oh, I can jump over there. What the fuck is this thing? Unknown resonant device. Surface scarring consistent with initiative standard ranged weaponry. Theorizing physical marks are consistent with survey equipment used in melee defense. I think there's no full damage. Nice. Score. We're in. We are in. Nope, nope, that hasn't worked. There we go. Scan that complete. complete the glyphs, Pathfinder. Okay. And that's all three done. Remnant decryption. Decrypt the remnant code by assigning glyphs to the grid. No row, column, or highlighted shape can include repeats of the same glyph. Override decryption. Use one remnant decryption key. Override this console. Oh, is it Sudoku? <laughs> it's Sudoku. Okay, I like Sudoku. Um, all right. I mean, there's not really much we can uh, narrate on if you want me to do this quickly, but uh, it should be fairly simple. What I want there, and then there you go. Okay. Score. We're in. Get Heads up. up! Incoming dropship. Dropship? Why? Done. The monoliths are online and connected to something in the lake. This could be the master switch we're looking for. Oh, hello. I'll meet you there. Don't do anything without me. <laughs> do you mind if we defend ourselves? Wait, didn't I? Oh no, I didn't get flank throw. Damn it. I just put it in the tower. It's all good. It's all good. Yeah. Is it just me? Cats seem to appear everywhere we find remnant tech. Definitely not just you. Ket anointed. Biologically similar to the Ket chosen, the anointed are armed with a heavy plasma cannon to drive enemies into cover. Okay. It appears to reconfigure panels that rise from the floor. Oh, okay. So the idea is you set up defenses. So is Sam just completely in control of this remnant technology now? Like he can understand it, he can do whatever he wants with it. Uh, which way are we facing? We are facing the wrong way. Where's my car? Radiation levels have spiked, Pathfinder. Get in the car. Right. All-terrain. Just 
That's a path. Are we supposed to go down there? I think Notice we are. one of your jets not firing properly. Might want to take a look at it. Shit. That's why it feels like I'm dragging a little to the left. And hey, thanks. Vetra being the one that's reaching out there. there Speed we. bump! Killed it. <laughs> okay, they seem to have made up a little bit at least. No! That's. <laughs> Wow, that's the sturdiest plants we've seen yet. Okay, hello. Look there. Coming out of the lake. Oh, wow. What did we do? Holy shit. It's opening up. I see a door. Come on! Where's the brute? Whoa, it's forming a bridge. <laughs> nice. Like an invitation. Hope it's safe. Oh, hey, PB. Glad you could join us. I imagine not much is done on here. Like, those haven't been scanned yet. What's that? <laughs> what? Systems are failing, Pathfinder. Yes, thank you, Samantha. I'm dying. Please help. Please. <laughs> I just died. <laughs> Oops. Technology on Habitat 7 uh, was fine. messing with the planet. That's fine. Can we outrun the bridge? The Don't expect any from the Nexus. They got a few reports, then the cat showed up. No time what? to study no. weird no. tech. <laughs> the car's blowing up. Right the last, looks like. There we go. It's fine. It's fine. Get out. Ah. Okay, the car did not like being in there. Right. Radiation. Oh, really? Okay, uh, right. Well, if we're going into a new... I mean, we are going to come off, don't worry. But, uh, Liam, you're gone. Cora, hello. Oh, hello. Tabula rasa. Tachanka grit. Migrant spirit. That that's Tally's Damascus steel style um, hood. Oh, absolutely. We're in the name of the Quarians, man. This is Cora, by the way. Cora, this is PB. She's an Asari. I'll let you guys get acquainted because you'll no. probably sleep with each other. No, this can't be right. All that fanfare for an empty room. There's some secret here. There must be. Do your Pathfinder thing. Oh, you're good. That wasn't me. Like, there's no point bragging it at the moment. We're we're in life or death with technology we don't understand. I didn't do a thing. That's a long way down. Can't tell how far. I mean, there's no fall damage. That can't be air pressure. Electrostatic? Ah, uh, gravitation. Morgan? Oh, you idiot, PB. That wasn't the front door. This is. I'll let you know. <laughs> yeah, bye. Hey! <laughs> oh, these children. <laughs> okay. It's acting like a gravity well. It is. But where is it taking us? To the center Embrace of the earth. the unknown, Ryder. Now this is more like it. Also, does it go like in reverse? Or a vault? Vault. Whatever you call it. 
The controls for that atmosphere processor might be down here somewhere. Let's find out. Ladies and gentlemen, we got a Borderlands vault here. Anything could be important. Let's be thorough. I will be. Next episode. Uh, I can't save my game. So, um... What I imagine it will be is we'll probably start off the next episode redoing that little cutscene. Because I was going to park in this building with the car. Um, but that's interesting. So, one fell swoop. We have got weird triangulating weather reporters that point us to what we now know as a vault. Which will lead us to the proper way of integrating with the weather system. So I don't die. And we can reset the weather, which I'm guessing will mean it'll be less radioactive. Um, we got... We, we see uh, Vetra in action, which is amazing. We now have PB, who I love. Holy crap, I love her. <laughs> she's just this hyperactive chipmunk. She's a, she's a socially adequate Morden, rather than a socially awkward Morden. Um... And we saw Daddy. Uh, I'm not sure how we get him on side, but I am going to do everything I can to get him on side. Uh, veteran knew him, so that was a good start. Uh, yeah, that... A lot of fun. The only downside I'm really having... Well, there's two downsides at the moment. <clears throat> the dialogue when you're talking to companions in a casual setting on the ship. Very wooden. Very stale. Feels like people are reading stuff off a script and they haven't read it before so they're just reading each line as it comes with no real thought and along with that the the pacing of the like some of the flirting we've done should have been three or four flirts down the line you don't start with that so it's a little weird it's a little like hi i'm Ryder. this is the first time we've ever met i have come here specifically to see people just like you with your body Cool it down. Just calm down. Um, and the other one is the kind of detective exploration style of gameplay. And yet they put a marker exactly where you're supposed to go. So it's like, well, I'm not really exploring, am I? I'm just doing a whole series of fetch quests where I have to run this way, that way, every way without any real exploration. I'm sure you can get more out of the game if you explore off the beaten track. The problem is I do get a little bored of that if it's, like, if we were to do, say, for example, two whole episodes of it, three, four hours, I would be very bored of that, and I would then just go to the main story to get some more story. Um, but, graphically, the only thing I have a problem with graphically is in the humans, the face, the, the mouth. The aliens, I think, look fantastic. I really like PB. I think she's a very natural looking Asari and she's more quirky and I like that. Salarians, Drac, Drax, Drac looked amazing. Uh, Vetra looks great. And yeah, I'm really, I, I like it so far. It's not the trilogy. It is not the trilogy, but what it is, is a new direction that they've attempted to go in. I feel like this is perfectly fine for a spin off of Mass Effect where you go down the more detective route, uh, and then you have the main Mass Effect, which is effectively your Captain America. And, you know, you are the strongest, and you get to go out and kill and organise. You have the power. And this one's more thought processing. It's like Phoenix Wright. You have to kind of think things through and then go, Objection! Um, but, I mean, I know, I know some people don't like this. I understand that. But I, right now, I'm genuinely having a lot of fun playing it. Um, I just want to get back and see the characters again. I love the characters. So, thank you very much for watching, everyone. And, uh, yeah, stay tuned for the next episode. I hope you're all having a fantastic week. And stay safe. Goodbye.